Welcome to tutorial 13 in the GPSX tutorial series, performing a Monte Carlo analysis in GPSX. The goal of this tutorial is to familiarize users with the implementation of Monte Carlo analysis in GPSX. Please note that the Monte Carlo analysis is an optional feature in GPSX and a pro license is required. A Monte Carlo analysis can be used to enhance understanding of probabilistic scenarios. It can determine at what value an event will occur and the probability associated with each value. For example, the alpha value for wastewater should be between 0.4 and 0.7. The probability of alpha being any value in this range is uniform. By assigning probability to the range of values, we can use Monte Carlo analysis to investigate the plant's performance over the range and the probability of the observed performance characteristics. Open a new layout. Save the layout with an appropriate name. Turn on the drawing board grid lines by going to View Display Grid. Ensure that the comprehensive Mantis 2 library has been selected. Add the following objects to the drawing board. A wastewater influent object from the process table influent group. A completely mixed tank from the suspended growth processes group. And a rectangular secondary clarifier from the secondary clarifiers group. Ensure that the COD states model has been selected for the influent object. The Mantis 2 model has been selected for the completely mixed tank. And that the simple 1D model has been selected for the clarifier. Let's now connect the streams. Connect the influence stream to the completely mixed tank. Connect the completely mixed tank effluent to the clarifier. And connect the clarifier underflow stream to the completely mixed tank recycle point. Next, let's label the processes. Label the influent object influent in the influent stream WWINF. Label the completely mixed tank CSTR. Label the overflow stream MLSS, the pump stream PMP, and the recycle stream RAS. Finally, change the clarifier label to final clarifier. Label the overflow stream FE and the pump stream WAS. We will be simulating this model under cold winter conditions. Open the Site Properties menu and navigate to the Plant Wide Properties tab. Change the liquid temperature to 10 degrees Celsius. Next, we'll change some of the object parameters in the model. Right click on the CSTR and select Input Parameters Operational. Set the Specify Oxygen Transfer By variable to Entering Airflow. Set the airflow into the aeration tank to 15,000 meters cubed per day. Accept the form. Right click on the clarifier and select Input Parameters Operational. Set the pump flow to 70 meters cubed per day. Accept the form. Save the layout. Switch to simulation mode. We will now create input controllers for the CSTR object. Right click on the CSTR and go to Input Parameters, Kinetic. Under the Ammonia Oxidizing Biomass subheading, drag the maximum growth rate for Ammonia Oxidizer parameter to a new Input Controller tab. Under the Nitrate Oxidizing Biomass subheading, drag the maximum growth rate for Nitrate Oxidizer parameter to the same Input Control tab. Right click on the CSTR and select Input Parameters, Operational. Press the More button under the Diffused Aeration section. 
Under the diffused air subheading, drag the alpha factor fine bubble parameter to the input control tab. Open the input control properties menu. For the ammonia oxidizer growth rate, set the minimum and maximum to 0.5 and 1.2 respectively. Change the controller type to Analyze Monte Carlo. This will create a Distribution Settings button next to the Type box. Select the Distribution Settings button and set the distribution type to Normal, the Mean to 0.9, and the Standard Deviation to 0.1. Similarly, for the Nitrite Oxidizer Growth Rate, change the Minimum to 0.5 and the Maximum to 1.2. Change the type to Analyze Monte Carlo. Change the distribution to Normal, the Mean to 1, and the Standard Deviation to 0.1. Finally, change the Alpha Factor Minimum to 0.4 and the Maximum to 0.7. Change the controller type to Analyze Monte Carlo. We will be leaving the distribution as uniform. Create a new input controller for the number of Monte Carlo runs. Open the Layout drop-down menu and select General Data, System, Input Parameters, Simulation Tool Settings. Drag the Number of Runs parameter under the Monte Carlo subheading to the Input Controller tab. We will now set up output graphs for our inputs to see the input distributions. Create a new Output Graph tab and label it Input Distribution. We will create an output graph for each of our input parameters. The first graph will be for the maximum growth rate for ammonia oxidizer parameter. Right click on the CSTR and go to Output Variables, Input Parameters, Kinetic. Under the Ammonia Oxidizing Biomass subheading, drag the maximum growth rate for ammonia oxidizer parameter to a new output graph. The second graph will be for the maximum growth rate for nitrate oxidizer. Under the Nitrate Oxidizing Biomass subheading, drag the maximum growth rate for Nitrate Oxidizer parameter to the Output tab. The third graph will be for the Alpha Factor Fine Bubble. Right click on the CSTR and select Output Variables, Input Parameters, Operational. Press the More button under the Diffused Air subheading. Drag the Alpha Factor Fine Bubble parameter from under the Diffused Air subheading to a new output graph. Open the Output Properties menu for each of these graphs and label them appropriately. For each graph, change the type to Probabilistic Monte Carlo and autoscale both the X and Y axes. Next we will create output graphs for four effluent parameters to monitor the plant's performance. Create a new output tab and label it Output Parameters. Right click on the CSTR and select Output Variables, Concentrations. Create output graphs for the dissolved oxygen, the ammonia nitrogen, the nitrite, and the nitrate in the CSTR effluent stream. Open the Output Properties menu for each of these graphs and rename them appropriately. Change the output graph type to Probabilistic Monte Carlo and set the X and Y axes to auto scale. When it comes to dissolved oxygen and ammonia nitrogen, we would like to view these graphs at a higher resolution and we would like to set an operational target. For the dissolved oxygen, set the number of bins to 20 to increase the resolution and set the target value to greater than 2 mg per liter.
For ammonia nitrogen, increase the number of bins to 20 and set the target value to less than 3 mg per liter. Save the layout. On the main toolbar, press the Analyze button and select Monte Carlo from the drop down menu. Turn on the Analyze mode by pressing the Analyze button and selecting Analyze mode. Notice that the status bar at the bottom right of the screen displays that we are in Analyze mode. Run the simulation. The simulations will run one after another while collecting the output of the model for post-simulation analysis. You can follow the progress of the simulations on the input tab as the red indicator of the input parameter progresses through the required simulations. By default, the required number of runs is 1000. Note that it may take several minutes to complete the analysis depending on the speed of your machine. When the simulations are complete, you will see the distribution of the alpha factor and the two growth rates used in the simulations. The growth rates should be normally distributed while the alpha factor has a uniform or flat distribution. Note that the actual distribution may not quite fit the expected distribution shape due to only running 1000 simulations. Running additional simulations would be more representative of the desired distribution. The graphs on the Output Parameters tab show the performance of the plant under varying inputs. The effluent ammonia graph illustrates that the plant is nitrifying under most conditions. The target line shows the percentage of time that the ammonia is less than 3 mg per liter. Note that you might receive a slightly different Monte Carlo analysis solution, but the percentage of simulations satisfying the ammonia target should be between 85 and 90%. You can create a new scenario to see the effects of increasing the aeration capacity. Try increasing the aeration tank volume and the airflow to the system to see how they affect the distributions. You can also look at the effect that the number of Monte Carlo runs performed has on the distributions. Save the layout. You have now completed tutorial 13 in the GPSX tutorial series. You should now be familiar with how to implement a Monte Carlo analysis in GPSX. Mm -hmm.